Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're going to start with Coach Ewing and Bobby Bancroft. Hey, Patrick. Um, you know, it's hard to hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you, but the noise in the background. Yeah, I know. This arena's not helping me. We're going to go around. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, coach. Coach. Hello. Yeah. Hey, um, talk about your what I'll call mini ball for the, most of the second half. You played twenty three at center. Um, talk about that and how it, it was able to you were able to creep, creep back into the game using that small formation. Um, well, you know, when things are not going right, you got to use what every, everything is at your disposal. Plus, they were playing small. They mm -hmm. went small uh, <laughs> with Samuels at the five. <laughs> and uh, I didn't think Tim or Malcolm probably could match up with him a little better, but I thought that it would be best to uh, play Colin at the, at the five with them, you know, or Caden at the four. And uh, you, you pressed today. You had your diamond, and you also... Uh, trapped at half court. You threw a couple of different presses, it looked like to me at them. Talk about the impact of that. Um, I thought our press was great. Well, we, we did use two different uh, type presses. We, we did a hard press and a soft press. I thought our guys did a, a great job of it. But, you know, once again, our turnovers hurt us, especially down the stretch. Um, you know, uh, we, we, we couldn't uh, secure some, some tough rebounds at the end. For all of those, uh, I thought that hurt us. You know, I, I, I told the guys that, you know, when, when it's winning time, effort plays, effort plays counts. That means, you know, when we win our zone, we, got, we couldn't let them uh, split us and get a, get a basket. Or when we're trapping, we couldn't let it get over the top and them get being able to uh, score. But then we have to be able to come up with rebounds when, when, we, when we do get them to miss. The last question. No, you just mentioned a lot of specific finer points. How do you ingrain that into your team? How do you get those guys to recognize that and then do it consistently? Just keep talking to them, keep showing film. You know, uh, we we had, a, once again, we had opportunities to mm -hmm. to be able to come away with a win. I thought we had uh, some tough calls go, uh, when it didn't go our way. I thought of, uh, that block on Amino, I thought it was a great block. Mm -hmm. And then the technical foul, that also hurt. Um, but, you know, I thought of my kids, they, they fought uh they fought the entire game they 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 competed they they did their best unfortunately uh it didn't work out for uh for us today thank you adam Gregoria. hi patrick uh i apologize if you've been asked this before during the season but how much does it kind of impact your bench and your roster not having guys like jordan riley and trey king how, how much does that shorten your bench and uh, you know, limit your ability to be flexible with the rotations. Hey, look, we can't even speak about Trey. I, I mean, I thought he was going to be an integral part of our team, but he's not here. Uh, Jordan got hurt. I thought that he was going to also be an integral part of our team. So, you know, definitely, uh, Jordan, there was a growing, uh, some growing pains that need to be made. Uh, but, you know, with his athleticism and the things that he can do, definitely we miss him. Do you do, I mean, I, long next year's a long way away, but do you think Jordan can, uh, be an important piece next year, Patrick. Well, he's gonna bet. He's gonna have to be. I told. Hey, look. Even though he's not playing and or practicing, I'm in his ear every day talking about the things that he need to do to be successful at this level. And just so, overall, you know, this is a this is a learning learning experience for him. Overall, how how much did it kind of shorten your bench and impact your rotation not having these couple guys that you counted on? And everything. Uh, of course, it makes it difficult. Um, guys that you thought weren't going to get uh, a lot of minutes or, or have opportunities to grow, they weren't given that opportunity. They had to throw them into the fire. And uh, Jordan, he's also, you know, he, he also has to learn uh, what it takes to be a, a, a big time college player. So, um, you know, even though he got some, uh, some he, he was able to play in some game, there's still a lot that he needs to learn. Thank you. Okay, a question from Bobby Bancroft. 
I know you aren't into moral victories, but what can you take away from a performance like this against one of the top teams in the league? Hey, you're right. I'm not into moral victories. We had we played them, we played them hard. We played up, we competed against them. If some things went our way, we probably would have came out with a win. We had a two or what a three-point game with about three or four minutes to go. Um, the mistakes that we made in terms of turning the ball over, not being able to get good shots, that hurt, especially going down the stretch. Patrick Waring. Hey, Coach, I, want, I wanted to kind of add to that a little bit. Um, like you said, you're definitely not into moral victories, but a lot of people are noticing, and like you mentioned earlier, the team is still competing. I mean, is that still, even though you're not getting the wins, is that still at least encouraging? I mean, do you at least take that positive well, it away? It's definitely encouraging. Uh, they, they're not giving up. It's, they continue to fight. They continue to compete. Um, but naturally, I want to win. <laughs> But, you know, you still have to be proud of the effort that they continue to give night in, night in and night out. And I want to ask you, too, about Don Carey. I mean, obviously you felt comfortable with him and you felt highly enough of him to name him your captain. But, like, after a night like tonight and after other games, I mean, is there anything that he's done that's even surprised you or even even, even, even past your expectations? Um, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I'm surprised. You know, he is, he's doing things that I expect him to do. He's playing uh, the best ball that it, uh, for us that he possibly can. He's doing everything. Last year, he wasn't a good defender. This year, he is, he is competing his butt off on the defensive end, and he's also making shots and making plays. All right, thank you. Okay, we have time for two quick questions. Um, Aiden Curran. Patrick, with uh, DePaul coming up on Thursday, you know the next the next chance to get a win in Big East. What do you want to see carry over from this performance against Villanova against DePaul at home to get a win? We we'll just continue to compete, continue to compete, continue to compete. The mistakes that we made tonight we cannot make uh, versus DePaul. Um, the DePaul plays a lot fa faster than than Saint um, than uh, the, Villanova does. Um, but we have to go out there. We have to compete, and our goal is to, you know, get start with one win, start with one win, and build from there. And Ryan, okay, our final oh, question. Oh, sorry, we're running out good, of time. Our final question back to Bobby Bancroft. When you were in college, Georgetown was the gold standard. While you've been in coaching, Villanova has been the gold standard. What parts of their program impressed you the most, and where do you think you can emulate in that your that in your program? For real. For real. Hey, look, Villanova is very good. They have been, they have won, uh, what, two championships out since since uh, they beat us back in 84. The Jay has done an outstanding job with this program. You have to take off your hat and, you know, give them praise. Um, but they're Villanova and we're Georgetown. You know, even though we're, things are not going well for us right now, I still believe in Georgetown and I still believe in the Georgetown brand. And I still believe that our day is coming. Thank you so much, Coach. Safe travels home. Thank you. Thanks to everybody for joining us. We'll be sending out a recording shortly.